human interface device exploits. What are they and how do we do them? Next on Secure Ninja TV. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, Andrew with Secure Ninja TV again and we're back with Bob Monroe from Hacker High School. Welcome back, Bob. Thank you. Excellent. So we're going to talk about human interface device exploits. And specifically in this case, this is a wireless human interface device. Uh, Bob, tell us a little bit more about this device. Uh, this is very similar to a rubber ducky. The only difference with this one is it's wireless. So with being at wireless, I can plug it in and then be meters away, a distance away, and have it execute whatever commands I want to. It'll accept the same uh, rubber ducky scripts that are already built out there, or you can customize your own scripts. Excellent. So when we talk about the rubber ducky, that's the famous device from um, Hack5. Excellent. So this is an alternative to that. So let's give it a go, Bob. Let's plug it in and see if we can fool this Mac computer into thinking we've plugged in the keyboard. Uh, with the WHID, just like a rubber ducky, you've got different types of payloads depending on the operating system or what you're trying to do. So in other words, Linux, Windows, uh, iOS, even BIOS. So we're going to pick one because this is a, a um, Mac. Let's go ahead and pick one for the Mac. Let's, let's try this one right here, Mac Command Execution. Let's see what happens here. So this is exactly what it's going to tell this computer to do. Look, no wires, not connected to nothing. Look at it. Nothing up that sleeve. And let's send that and let's see what happens over here. And your hands have never left your wrists. Been here all day long. And it opened up the calculator. That's awesome. Excellent. So all we need to have is physical access to this device and we can carry out a number of exploits. Correct. So Bob, these devices are really inexpensive. Why should people be concerned about these? Because they are so expensive, it doesn't cost me much to attack your network. I can get 10 of these, walk around your, your entire area, plug a couple of them in here, a couple plug them in there, and I just walk away. I go out to your parking lot, I sit there, I order a nice pizza, I eat my pizza, maybe I'm watching some Netflix on my phone, and in the meantime, I'm sending these guys commands to each one of the devices out there. I'm invested now 150 bucks and I'm inside your network. That's the part of the big problem with these things is they're so cheap and so easy to use. Yeah, $15 each, $10, $150, you can have persistent access into a network over multiple computers and not break the bank. That's awesome. Well, or not awesome, I'm not really sure, but excellent. Well, thanks so much for demonstrating that for us, Bob. Uh, we're going to have you back again very soon. Thank you. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to subscribe and to like. I'm Andrew Howard from Secure Ninja TV. We'll see you again soon.